Still on the fence about this whole Windows RT thing. What is it? Is it worth it? How does it apply? I've only been using Windows RT since launch. Representing three bros all game, we're going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly about the OS. If you're still interested, let's take a deeper look inside. This is Living with Windows RT. What's going on team? Newt Man here, representing three bros all game. I'm gonna summarize this video up real quick. It's gonna be a short video. It is not gonna be the dead horse video. We're gonna define what RT is. We're gonna talk about the good. We're gonna give you real life experiences and applicability greater than a month. We're gonna talk about the bad. And then we're gonna talk about how to overcome those bad. And finally, we're gonna talk about the ugly. I mean, the ugly, ugly. And then bring it on home. What makes us different than the rest out there is we're talking long term testing. That being said, let's get right to it. What is Windows RT? Windows RT stands for Windows Runtime. Got it, we're gamers, you knew that. Move it on. But what is it really? Because a lot of times, Windows RT looks exactly like Windows 8. So here's the question, Microsoft why do they look so similar? Or at least why aren't the names differentiate enough so people won't get confused? I don't know the answer. Windows RT, outside of pictures, videos, and music, can only get new content through the Windows App Store. If you try to add programs through the USB, SD card, or internet site download, you're going to get this. Okay, it's taking a second. But I promise you it's coming. I swear to you it's coming. Aha, there it is. You see, it refers whatever you're trying to install to as an app, and then it auto deletes once you hit OK. You saw I referred to yourself as a PC. Take that as you will. In my opinion, Windows RT is a complement to Windows 8, an amazing complement to Windows 8. Microsoft hasn't really marketed that very well. Unless you have a Windows 8 device, whether it's a laptop or a desktop, you won't really be able to see RT strength. So the question is, why would I want RT when I got a full-blown Windows 8 on a tablet or laptop? That's a good question. I think a better question would be, do I have Windows 8? Because if I don't, there's no need for RT. Let me say it again. If you don't have Windows 8, there's no need for Windows RT because you're not going to get the full usage out of it. Uh, please comment on that. Search my RT users because I think that's interesting. I think it's true, but I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Windows RT is a consumption device, comparable to an Android device or an iPad, but with greater productivity capability due to the nature of the OS. Okay, the good. Windows RT integration with Windows 8 is amazing. Everything you do from to updates to start screen logos to save and favorites to Internet Explorer, updates within seconds to the other device. Any changes you make one device is automatically changed to the other device. RT is a consumption device does very well when it comes to productivity. Of course, Microsoft, they're going to have the Microsoft products utilized most businesses today. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, everything works fine. Almost all the features are there. There are no conversion apps or anything like that you have to worry about. The bad apps still fall behind the competition. I mean, it is what it is. If you want to invest in the ecosystem, that's your own choice. Also, the bad, very few and far between. There's some websites that just still don't look correct on the RT system. Outside of those two things, though, that's about it. I mean, when I sit my device next to someone else, and normally I'm the only one with my device in meetings and such, and I look at what we can do, not tech specs, not what looks better, you know, as far as retina displays. Or, you know, I commonly find myself saying, wow, that's a cool app, looking for an app and not finding it within my store. For some of you, that may hold more weight than others. Uh, a lot of times I'm able to go to the websites of those uh, particular apps and still get the same work done. And of course, that doesn't apply to all apps. But again, more times than not, I find myself able to utilize Internet Explorer. And moving to the ugly, the ugly, ugly. And RT, sometimes just stuff just happens, random stuff. Sometimes it's just unexplainable. Apps shut down, uh, stuff boot up in the midst of typing. 
and there's no rhyme or reason and they're especially now with all these updates they're very fewer than when they are when it's first released but it still does occur and lastly part of ugly if you drop below three gigs of hard drive memory your system slows down I've done extensive testing I know it doesn't make sense if you're experiencing slowdown on your RT device check your hard drive memory space and ensure it's above three gigs all right even though I had those bads and uglies I'm still thoroughly enjoying my RT device please comment I'd like to know your thoughts on RT as well if you like what you saw please subscribe living with Windows RT part 2 is coming out the end of July I'm taking it to college so July 1st uh, starting grad school and the goal here is try to use it as my sole device within the classroom setting see if it's applicable for college students and that'll be after the June 26 8.1 Windows update it'll be interesting to see thanks for watching Newt Man out